Hello and welcome to this film which is all about the making metal crystals practical. Now for this practical you're going to need access to some solid silver nitrate, you're going to need a petri dish, a coil of copper wire, you'll need some agar powder, you'll need a balance to weigh out your solids, you'll need a piece of filter paper which you're going to weigh out your solids onto and you'll need a heat mat, a tripod, a gauze, a 250ml beaker for making your solution and a Bunsen burner because the agar does not dissolve very well in cold water. Right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to put our filter paper on the balance. We're going to zero our balance and we're going to weigh out half a gram of agar powder. Now be careful with that. Try not to spill it around the balance because the balances don't like having solids spilt on them. But if you do, just clear it up. Once you've weighed that out, take your agar and tip it into your beaker and add about 40 millilitres of water to it. Okay. Now this water is going to need to be boiled in order to help that agar dissolve. So just remember when you're boiling you want an, a heating flame on your Bunsen so you don't want any yellow in the flame but you also don't want it to be roaring. So you want to have the air holes as closed as possible but without any yellow in the flame. Right, once you've got your agar to dissolve you can add your silver nitrate to it. Now you need 0.3 grams of this and this will probably be pre-weighed for you because it's quite easy to um, stain things with it if you spill it accidentally. Okay, so that will probably be pre-weighed. You take your pre-weighed sample of that and you add it to your solution of agar in the beaker. Now you're nearly ready to set things up you're now going to take this agar solution, which has also got silver nitrate dissolved in it, and you're going to pour it carefully into a petri dish. Okay? Now you're probably going to have more than enough there to fill the petri dish, so be careful not to overfill it. And it might also be worth thinking about where you're going to put that petri dish before you fill it with the solution. Because you don't want to be walking around the whole lab bumping into people when you've got this petri dish full of solution it's very easy to spill it. Okay now bearing in mind that we want to leave this in a cool dark place overnight it would be good if you could get to that place before you put your agar solution into the petri dish. So any cupboard in the lab will do for this. So you're going to take your petri dish over to the cupboard, fill it with the agar solution and then you put your coil of copper wire into that solution. Okay, now you're going to need to coil this yourself. Okay, but it's quite easy to do that. You just wrap it around a pencil and then pull it off. Put that coil of wire into your petri dish, put the lid on it, and leave your um, agar solution to solidify. And hopefully, by the time you come back, you'll have some nice crystals of silver growing on your copper. We'll need to take a photograph of these. That we'll use the dinoscopes to do this most probably so that you can get a good close look at those crystals and you're going to look for any kind of regular patterns that might appear there. Right, so that's how that practical works. As usual, if you've got any questions about it, make sure you ask your teacher and make sure you write yourself a nice clear method before you get started.